Welcome back to more XD Gill of Darkness, everybody. So we are going to, um, wait, we're good, alright, let me just make sure here. I think we are, yeah, we're good. Alright, we're gonna go in here, and there's only one more battle left to do here in this, um, in this building. And that's this guy, that's the boss. Keep your hands off my sister, the data ROM is right here. Alright. So obviously we know what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna be coming into the rescue. Of course. What? <laughs> it's heartbreaking, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, can I just come in already? And save the day? What's up, big guy? This was the guy in the beginning. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and battle him. And, okay, so that's Cypher CMDR Exel. Alright, well that's a little, um... What the fuck? CMDR Exel. What in the world does that even mean? Like, seriously. Okay, anyway, this guy here has a Loudred, a Giraffe Rig. Um, let's see, so... It would make the most sense for me to use Thunder Shock on Loudred and then just go ahead and do Faint Attack on Giraffe Rig. Um, hopefully this kills. I mean, the Thunder Shock definitely won't, but... I hope the faint attack does. I mean, you just evolved Hound Hour into a Hound Doom, so. Um, that's good. If you were Hound Hour, you were not going to kill that damn thing. Giraffe Rake has pretty decent stats for being early in the game. Although, we're kind of leaving early game now. Once you reach like level 30, you're beyond early game and you're into mid game. And then end game is usually like in Pokemon games like level 50, 55 plus, you know? Around there. Okay, so that's the shadow, as you can see. Uh, okay, it's Intimidate. Seismic Toss is going to do exactly 23 damage. Alright. Uh, let's see, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do a Thunder Wave on the Mawile, and I will do a Faint Attack on the Loudred. Alright, so I think Mawile... Doesn't Mawile have like a really low catch rate? I think it actually does. Shit. That might be a little bit difficult to capture in that case. Alright, well... Ooh, Raichu! Holy shit. Okay, this could actually be kind of a problem. If this thing has Thunderbolt... Oh, heck yeah. This thing has Thunderbolt. Okay, I need to actually take care of you. I'm gonna do a... A bite. I know I'm really risking this with these, um, with this physical touching, but I have to do it because I gotta kill this damn thing. I have to. Okay, thank you for not- okay. Finally getting that luck with static. Alright, Raichu's down. Yes, okay, okay. I got Raichu taken care of. Shadow Rush from a while. That's gonna do a decent amount of damage, yep, as I figured. Okay, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do a Thunder Shock in a while, and I guess just do something. Do do this charm, I guess. I don't know. Lower its attack. Okay, it's at the halfway. That's that's fine. Charm. You gotta lower your attack significantly, so that's good. Um, I think it's time to just go ahead and try now, um, so you actually resist bite, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a bite, I might have to lower your HP a little bit more, um, and I'm just gonna start chucking Pokeballs at you, let's see if this works. So once you complete this segment of the game, uh, Great Balls will be unlocked in March, so you can start buying them, which is definitely good, because at this point Pokeballs are gonna be a little bit too weak, but we'll see. Okay. That worked in the first try. I mean, I did get you had to halfway, halfway health and paralyzed, so it's pretty good. All right, and that's it. Are you some kind of battling pro? I'd like to think so. Yeah. Drat! I didn't see this coming. You got what you came for, huh? 
Alright, what, what's up now? Hmm. A part of Cypher's criminal plans became clear. For instance, Cypher was behind the disappearance of that cargo ship to SS Libra. There's more. Cypher is planning a major attack on Fenac City. Oh shoot. Marcia has gone there. Alright, so now we unlock Fenac City. The next destination, let's do this. So we basically have to run all- oh my god, is there a shortcut out? Oh my god, there's not. I have to literally run my ass all the way back. The normal way. My god. Here, I'll use this healing machine because it's on the way. That way I don't have to go off course, you know? Okay. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and just take all these elevators now and get the heck out of here. So I don't think I have any, um... Actually, do I have any Pokemon that are ready for purification? I completely forgot about that, if I do or not, but... We'll see once I get out of this building and, you know, just... Oh my god. What the heck? Why is the bodyguard there now? The receptionist is gone. Alright, well, we are going to... Uh, leave this place. Let me let me check the status of all these shadows. Oh my god, Carbonus is pretty much drained all the way now. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I guess. Yeah, so we're all done in Pyrite Town right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and head straight over to Fenac City. All right. Oh, the beautiful Fenac City. Hello. Congratulations, incredible as it may seem, you're exactly the one millionth visitor to Fenac. What? Please accept this, a disc case which already comes with some battle CDs. Oh, sweet. Battle CD 01? Battle CD 07? Battle CD 20. You should take that to the Relgum Tower next to the town. Go, go, go. Okay. They basically want you to go to Relgum Tower. If you try to, yeah, see, if you try to come back in there, they're gonna be like, nope, damn it. You know, like, you can't. You do actually have to explore this place first. <clears throat> Alright. Oh my god, here are these people again. You drop your secret savings? Hmm. Alright. Anyway. Um, what happened? Oh, Carvana cannot be purified. Sweet. That's pretty good right there. Um, there's an item over here. I'll take this. One protein. Alright. So yeah, Relgum Tower, it, it's an interesting place for sure. Um, there's there's a lot to do here. You can do like battle bingo, you can do um uh, you can like purchase TMs I know, you can also use your battle CDs. I'm gonna be doing all a lot of the stuff later in the game, so just know. Alright, oh look at this. Carbos. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna go this way first. This is just a healing area here, which is cool. One thing I can definitely do is... Well, I would have to go... Oh, shit. Hmm. I would have to go back. To the freaking purification. God damn it. Alright. Should I go... Okay. Can I go in here? Okay, yes, I can. What's up? Alright, so... Oh, look at that. One Ultra Ball. Basically, the rooms on the left and right dedicate themselves to different challenges. For example, the one on the left, I think it's Battle Bingo. Seedot is ready. That's cool. 
Yeah, so that's... That, this is that way, actually. Are you gonna tell me something about Battle Bingo really quick? Because if you are, I'll take it. Never mind. Well, actually... What do you have here? It's 500 to play. Uh, no. I'm not gonna be doing Battle Bingo yet. That's gonna be for later, like I keep saying. Um, yeah, so just, but just keep this in the back of your mind, you know. The one on the right side lets you play these battle CDs that you have. Battle Sims. Aww. Okay. No, no, I didn't. Okay, well, I have 1, 7, and 20. It shows you the difficulty, as you can see, but I'm gonna skip those for now. You can also buy battle CDs. Um, they do have a few, which... I guess I can buy them. <clears throat> Two. I think they have more eventually, right? Do they? There we go. 3,000 money. Not really the smartest thing to be spending my money on right now, but just, just to have it, you know? <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, the spot monitor is responding. Uh, which one is it? I hope it's still there. Because there's only like one food left, you know? But I think it's, uh, let's see here. Okay. Go, go, go. I gotta get out of here and run back to the spot monitor. I actually had completely forgotten about that, you know? Like, seriously. Oh my god. Now it's Vulpix that's ready? Jesus. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Rock's Pokey Spot over here. It's a Trap Inch. That's actually a more rare one. And you can trade this Trap Inch if you would like to, but I don't know if I should. I feel like I probably shouldn't. Like, I mean, it's a good, it's a good offensive type to be. Able okay, let's see. It's only level ten. Is this Quick Attack gonna kill you? Oh my god. I'ma try it. Oh my god, I think this is really dumb. I think this is really dumb. I think I just killed this thing. Well, that sucks. Damn it, dude. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Shit. Alright, well... Yeah, that, I mean, it's, that's okay. I mean, capturing those is not part of 100% completion, I'll just tell you that. It would have just helped to have an extra Pokemon, you know, that can actually help to purify these others, others, you know, but whatever. I think it's fine. Alright, so there's basically three Pokemon that I can purify now, which is really good. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do this here. We're gonna purify this C dot first. All right, let's see what you learn. You're learning Giga Drain. That's actually really good. Okay, and refresh. Dude, that's not bad. That's why I, that's why I thought about using this C dot, but. Well, you know what? Fuck it. It's okay. Alright, we're gonna switch over to the next one. This time it's Vulpix. Okay. Alright, Vulpix, let's see what you got here. Heat Wave. Charm. Heat wave is actually pretty interesting. It's, it's it's not bad. It's a pretty good move. All right, so that's it for those. But I'm gonna go back in there because now there's actually another one that I need to go ahead and put. Um, I'm gonna do edit. Go ahead and go here. It's this Carvana specifically that I need to go ahead and purify. Okay, so yep. Damn, if I had the Trap Inch, that would have been four extra Pokemon. That would have been so amazing, but... Fortunately, that's not the case. Hmm. 
Alright, Water Pulse and Refresh, not bad, right? And that's it for Carvana. Alright, perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and make some edits here. Um, and I'll access this from over here, because why not? Alright, Pokemon Storage. Wait, no, not, not Pokemon Storage. Why did I go in Pokemon I meant, I meant Purified Chamber, my bad. Alright, so. So the second one has the max tempo, as you can see. So this one I need to try to fix this. Um, so I have to do like a freaking... Wait, th this would work, right? Wait, why didn't I ever just put the stupid Pucci in? Wait, oh no, wait, no, wait, the, the, the issue... Wait, ground to poison, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Am, am I tripping over here? What the fuck is wrong with me? Hold on. Dude, I'm trying to get to the Pucci... Damn it! Okay. Oh yeah, the, the, okay, well that was... Okay, hold on. No, no, the other issue was this shit over here, so... Dark is good against... So I need... I mean, what the hell would that even work for? Okay. Um... I have a fire. Oh my god, I, this is so ridiculous, dude. Just trying to find the right spot here. Okay, so... This bug flying... That'd be good against this here. It actually would. That's max tempo right there. Perfect. Okay. Hmm. I mean, the, the problem is this is Teddy Ursa, so it's not really gonna matter, you know? Like, I still can't fix that first one. I have these two already at max. So how far along is this Makuhita? Oh my god, I still need a lot. Okay. Which makes sense, I mean, it was super slow. So, now I have three. Technically, I have a fourth one because I can put this Teddy Ursa here alone, right? That's gonna be a really slow pace, though. Okay, um... I'm gonna put this Ghost... And then rotate the thing over here. Now, for this one, I have a, what, a Routes? Routes is good against none of these. Uh, Ralta is also getting against none of these. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, that is very unfortunate. I can put you there, I suppose. Um, also, do any of these... I don't have any freaking... Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention, honestly. Okay, poison is not good against anything. They, what the freaking hell? Wait, no, it, it is. No, but that's already Makuhita. Shit, okay. Let's go with this Mawile. There we go, that one works. So this, I need a... No! Ah, God, why is it so hard to control this? Okay, rotate this to over there. That's a slightly better flow. Okay, so I have Duskull, Mawile, Makuhita. I should probably just take this Routes into my party, because I might use this route. I mean, that's the thing, I need to start seeing what whole items these things have, seriously. There we go. So, gold pen, I'm just gonna put you there, it's super slow, that one's not effective at all, but I think it's fine. Okay, perfect. And, do I need a heal? I don't know if I have to, but I'll just do it, just in case. Alright, now we're officially going to head over to Fenac City, now that we've taken care of some more Purified Chamber stuff, so that's good. That's some really good news there. And let's go. Yeah, so once you actually go into Relgum Tower, the lady's finally going to not bother you anymore. Yeah, see? Alright, so, first things first, I've got to grab a couple chests here now. I will say that it's very... It's very shady in here, I'm just saying, and you'll, you'll see why. Is there, are there items? Yeah, there are items. Very shady here, you cannot actually enter the Pokemon, or, or I mean, you can, I think, but there's nothing in there. Shops need to take holidays too. Yeah, so the shop is closed. The PC 
No one is in here. Very strange indeed. Hmm. Alright. Anything over here? Oh, there's a thing there right there. Okay. So I have to run around. Wait, this way. Okay. So over here, to the building on the right side, Shroomish cannot be purified. Wow. Okay. Do I really want to go back there right now though already? It's, I mean, it's not like I have any other shadows right now anyway, so... Okay, there's an item here. Music disc. Hmm. Okay. And he will also let you sleep here in these beds. Uh, it's actually a good way to heal because the Pokemon Center is actually closed. So, interesting, right? Alright, so, now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go back to the left side over here. Right over here. The mayor has gone out, ooh. Uh, sure. Here's your music disc. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now I can sneak upstairs. Uh, previously, that woman wouldn't let you actually go upstairs. Um, if you didn't have the music disc. But now she's distracted. Ooh, there's a nice little item over here. Mayor's note. What the heck? There's big bad trouble brewing. What? Fennec is now a target of Cypher. Cypher members are secretly taken to places of prominent members of our community. If something's not done, the city will be taken over by Cypher without anyone noticing what's happened. Okay. Ended abruptly. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. In disguise. Naughty boy, you say. The heck? Alright, well, here we go. Another battle. Uh, this one, um, Exxon, Cypher Beyond Exxon is actually gonna have a, uh, from what I know, it's a Snorunt, a Shadow Snorunt. Yep, there we go. There's the Shadow, gotta be careful with, you know, dealing with that one. I guess I'll just go ahead and do a uh, little Thunder Wave on the Snorunt. Uh, you can faint attack the Viper, I suppose. Hopefully I can uh, get a little lucky here and you get paralyzed. We'll see if it works. We'll see. Okay, that did do at least half, so that's, that's pretty good. Poison Tail. Okay, that did a fair amount of damage. Yes, he got paralyzed. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is do a... Okay, see, the thing is, Snorunt really sucks in stats. I gotta be very careful and not KO it. So I'm gonna do a quick attack on the Snorunt. It shouldn't do... I mean, it's not gonna do, like, a lot, that's for sure. Yeah. Just hitting it a little bit. Alright, so this will eliminate the Surviper from attacking me this turn, so that's good. 25 for Houndoom, sweet. Golbat. Okay, Shadow Wave. That's gonna hit both. But barely anything, wow, that is really bad. That's Snorunt. Alright. I'm going to do a Thundershock on the Golbat, and I'm going to go for a Pokeball <clears throat> on the Snorunt. Alright, let's see if this works. Damn it. Shit. Okay. Thundershock on the Golbat. Let's see if this works. Ooh, barely survive with like 1 HP. Astonish. Hmm. 
I just gotta keep trying. Paralyze again, yes, okay, getting lucky with that. Alright, Thunder Shotgun you, same exact thing as last turn, doing just a quick repeat here of the same exact thing. Hopefully this works, yeah, but see, this actually does indicate that I need to start going for some Great Balls and Ultra Balls, because, or oh, Great Balls for now. I mean, I got some Ultra Balls, that's for sure, but... Pokeballs by themselves are typically not going to be enough. I mean, I got the snore in there, so that's cool. Next up is Mighty Anna. Damn, okay. Intimidate. Alright, at least this goal bat is, you know, down. That was a good turn for me, I'm not taking any damage. Alright, goal bat. Yeah, I'm going to do a Thundershock and an Ember. Both of these, I hope that they kill and combine. Ooh, I don't know, actually, because... But no, I mean, I should be able to, right? Let's hope. Yep, I did. Okay. Perfect. There's Mighty Anna down. And that's it for the battle. Cypher P on Xin. Alright, well that's one person down. Let's go ahead and we gotta get out of here now, you know? We gotta run down. Something the matter? Cypher appeared? Tell me, did they? <laughs> oh my gosh. Cypher P on Gonrag. Gonrag. Okay, so this guy has a shadow. It's a shadow Pinko, actually. Hmm. Alright, so let's see, for this one... Because I'm trying to kill... Well, I mean, I was hoping I'd kill the Miracle in the first... Well, I can probably try. Does that Pinko have a fucking explosion? Oh my god, what if it does? Alright, I'm gonna Thundershock... The Murkrow... And I'm gonna... Oh my god, no. Pain Attack might actually kill that Pineco. No, I'm gonna Thunder Wave the Pineco. And I'm gonna Ember the Murkrow. I hope it doesn't freaking self-destruct. Well, no, I mean, a lot of these Shadow Pokemon only use Shadow moves. Like, they don't actually have their other moves learned, right? I, I think that's correct. I'm pretty sure. That did a pretty good amount of damage to the Murkrow. Okay. It's not very effective. Alright. Um, Shadow Blitz, that's fine. Oh man, Handum is taking the beating over here. Seriously. Um, I'm just gonna go with... I don't know how much damage I'm gonna be doing, that's the problem here. Let's do an Ember on the Murkrow to at least eliminate the Murkrow from attacking us this turn. This quick attack should set up the Pineco for... Well, actually, it didn't do as much as I thought. Man, I did- I'm sometimes so freaking afraid of using bite and shit, because like, what if I crit? It's gonna do at least half damage, and if it crits, it's fucking over, you know? Yeah, at least Murkrow's down, that's a little bit less damage we're gonna take this turn. Here comes Ariados, okay. Another Shadow Blitz, that is tearing me apart, that- okay, you attack the other one, that's good. Okay. Um... I'm gonna try this Pokeball. Hopefully it works. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any more Pokeballs in this game anymore, just letting you know. Um, I'm gonna go specifically to Great Balls next time I buy some stuff, so I just wanna use them all up. Use up all these Pokeballs, because if I wait on not using them to like later in the game, it's just gonna be tougher. Like, you can't be catching really late Pokemon with Pokeballs, it's just not gonna work, you know? Okay, so Pinko has been caught. Amber on the Ariados. Did not kill as I figured. I mean, you are an evolved version, so that makes sense. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, quick attack can deal with you fairly easily. 
Damn, dude was barely surviving this shit. Oh my god. Crazy, crazy. Alright, so another Shadow Pokemon off to the storage. And. Houndoom fainted. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry, Houndoom. There's nothing I can do. Alright, so here's gonna be a bunch of freaking justies. Not even kidding you. <laughs> oh my god. The justy gang. Count off. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, whoops. I accidentally mashed it. Shoot. Okay. To your positions, yeah. So you gotta be basically going around fighting all these people. But before I do that, um, I actually want to leave this place. Because, um... Can I leave this place? I can, right? Oh, thank god. Okay. Uh, I want to go all the way back to the lab because of that new Pokemon that just got, you know, that its bar got depleted all the way. The new Shadow one. Because uh, you want to make, make sure to do this process as fast as you can because you're going to be getting a lot of Shadow Pokemon uh, later. Like at a really ridiculous pace, honestly. And it's just like, what the heck, man. I'm also going to heal, of course, because, you know, I'm freaking beat up here. Okay. I'm gonna come in here as well, so I can purify uh, one of my shadow Pokemon that, uh... Which one was it? I'll just go into this one, I guess. Yeah. So it's in my party. It's this Shroomish. Cool. What the heck am I doing? Oh, shit. I'm gonna put you in, in here now. Man, look at that pace, how slow that was. All right, we're gonna go ahead and purify this Shroomish. Perfect, all right. Shroomish, open the door to its heart. Oh, sweet. False swipe, oh my god, that's actually really interesting. Makes me wanna use Use you, you know, because of false white. Plus, I think you learned Spore as well. Alright, well, it's a good time to end the episode here once I just finish up this Purify Chamber, because next time I'm going to meet you back in Fenax City. Um, so now that I have another one, well, I actually want to see, because this first one that I can't get... I really can't fix this shit, huh? Um, I mean, there's, there, there is no way to do it. Because it would require me to... Uh, put, like, basically bug. It's good against dark. Dark is against psychic. It's because it's psychic and ground shit, like. Yeah. The problem is this stupid battle toy. Because dark, I mean, I don't have a ghost. to their problem, so I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to put you over here. And then put another shadow Pokemon in there. Well, I already had a Gulpin in, in here, so. Just putting you back in there. I can at least rotate you. But the flow a little bit better. Um, oh my god, look how fast these things are draining. Holy shit. Well, that's good to know, right? Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day. Whoops, I should be putting in one more shadow on my party.